You have the flexibility to alter the shape from a circle to a square or any other shape of your preference. Did you know that concept maps stemming from Joseph Novak's 1972 research at Cornell University aim to enhance the representation of children's understanding of basic science concepts? Since then, they've become widely used in education, research, and business. But how do concept maps actually work? Well, that's what we're going to answer today. Greetings, everyone. I'm Kyla from Vengage, and in today's video, we'll explore the enchanting world of concept maps, their purpose, and the simple steps to create one using Vengage. Let's delve into understanding what a concept map is. A concept map is a diagram that depicts the relationships between ideas using nodes, links, and linking words. A node is a circle or square that contains a concept, while a link is a line or arrow that connects said nodes. Meanwhile, linking words add context by describing the relationship between nodes. Concept mapping is a valuable tool for learners, aiding in efficient information organization and understanding complex relationships between ideas. Due to the precision required in depicting concepts through various steps and stages, creating a concept map can be a challenging task. This is where Vengage comes into play. Vengage provides a pre-designed concept map template that can be easily customized to meet your specific needs. Concept maps can be used by a variety of individuals and in various contexts. Educators and students use concept maps as study aids to organize and understand complex information. Researchers utilize concept maps to visually represent relationships between ideas, theories, and variables in their studies. Business professionals incorporate concept maps in strategic planning, decision-making, and project management within a business or organizational context. Designers rely on concept maps to plan and visualize the structure of their projects in fields such as graphic design or user experience design. Scientists use concept maps to represent and understand complex scientific theories, hypothesis, and relationships. To understand how to create a concept map, let's start with understanding the layout. Consider this template as an example. The circular shapes within it represent concepts, with the central circle serving to illustrate the main idea of the concept map. You have the flexibility to alter the shape from a circle to a square or any other shape of your preference. You can utilize icons to represent actions. Simply double-click the icon and select a relevant one of your choice. To change the colors, make use of Styles option. Once the design is complete, you can download it to any format of your choice from here. Additionally, you have the option to share it with your team from here to gather feedback from them. I hope that you've gained insights into crafting a concept map. Give it a shot using Vengage. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow Vengage on all social media for regular updates, and we'll see you in the next video.